But I want to talk about the All-Star game and ask you what I think is a very, or I should say, ask you a question that I think has a very obvious answer to it. But nonetheless, I still want to uh, ask you anyway. My question to start off today's show is this. What is more important to you? Is it the All-Star game, like we're watching right now? Or is it the postseason? The NBA postseason? Told you it was an obvious question. For me, my answer is the postseason. Right? I care more about the results that happen in May and June than I do right now on this February night in um, in Indianapolis. And I think, if I took a poll, I don't think truly one person would actually say, you know what, Ryan? I value the All-Star game more than I do the playoffs. So with that said, with we'll just say conservatively, the majority of NBA fans caring more about the postseason than they do about the All-Star game, why would you want then All-Star game players to go hard, play defense, and risk getting hurt? I don't. I don't want that. Which is why I have no problem with the way the All-Star game is right now. There is no defense being played tonight. There's really never been defense played in the All-Star game for the last 10 or 15 years, conservatively. It's now basically a glorified shoot-around. Guys are open. No one's really trying. What kind of cool moves can you do during the game? But it's not actually a game. It's a scrimmage. But because we don't actually care about the All-Star game itself, because we prioritize the playoffs more, I have no problem with it. I would much rather watch what we are watching tonight. A glorified scrimmage, a glorified shoot-around that is dressed up like a game with the world's best players. I'd rather have that than I would right now these players going as hard as they can and having a real competitive game. Because what that does is, is open up the risk for injury. And the last thing I want as a fan of the NBA, is to have a big-time injury coming out of All-Star Weekend that changes the trajectory of the playoffs. Like, I'm, I'm knocking on wood as I say this. So, if it happens, please do not. I've had a bad mush record. This is not a mush. I am not speaking this into existence. But God forbid, if tonight we see Giannis twist an ankle, we see Nikola Jokic blow out a knee, and all of a sudden now, the Bucks playoff hopes are, or championship hopes, uh, championship hopes, we'll say, are all but dashed. And the Nuggets' chances of repeating take a significant hit now that their best player and the guy who right now is my MVP of the league is out for a significant part, if not the rest of the year, because he suffered an injury during an All-Star game, which is a glorified exhibition. You know what the reaction is going to be? Why are you trying? Why are you going hard in a game that doesn't matter? That's the reaction. If they got hurt in a regular season game, the reaction is, it sucks. It's unfortunate, but you play the game, right? The, everyone is playing regular season games. That is a part of the game. Injuries, unfortunately, do happen. It is a risk anytime you step on the basketball floor. But an injury in a regular season game is not comparable to an injury in an exhibition like this because this is avoidable. This is extra. And so when I watch players yucking it up tonight, taking it easy, not, you know, getting in anybody's way, making sure they're not putting their foot underneath someone as they jump to make sure no one's getting hurt, that to me is how absolutely how this game should be played. Because we have told the players over and over again, we care more about how you play in the playoffs than we do in a game like this. So why should they go hard and put themselves at risk of getting injured in a game that we don't truly care about? In a game that means nothing. Like, if you think about it, playing hard in an All-Star game, there's really only negative consequences. You get hurt, your season's in big-time trouble. I mean, think about it. We are talking about, or I should say we are watching, right? 24 of the greatest players in the world. Any one of those 24 get hurt. The playoff picture drastically shifts. Whether that team, their chances of making the playoffs significantly dip, or that team's chances of winning a championship significantly dip. 
Either way, we are talking about a massive wave going forward here if the unfortunate does happen in a game that no one cares, like no one truly cares about. And so honestly, when this when this topic comes up every single year like it does, let's play more defense. Let's try to get a better game. Is this the year that you know players are going to try? We're actually going to you know have the fans reward the fans with a really good, fun game between the the best players in the league. I roll my eyes and I get frustrated because I don't think those people that are saying that are truly being fair. Like I don't think you can have it both ways, where. You want to boil a player's career down to how they play in the postseason. But yet at the same time, you want them to put themselves at jeopardy of missing the postseason or not being 100% come playoff time and hurting their chances of playing well and hurting their team's chances of winning a championship by going hard in a game like this and putting yourself at risk of getting injured. I'd much rather watch what we're watching tonight. Glorified shoot around with some of the best players in the world. No one's taking it seriously and have two, two and a half hours wasted, if you will. I'd rather have that 10 times out of 10 than watch a super competitive game where it is intense, where both teams are playing hard on defense, both teams are playing hard on offense, and it is truly just a great game between the, the league's best, but one player gets hurt. One player lands in a way he shouldn't. One player takes an elbow to the face, and now all of a sudden he's going to be out the next few weeks. Like That is what I do not want because it's not worth it. The playoffs are too important, and now as you get down to the stretch run of the season, being healthy is priority number one. And so if players are going to take it easy tonight, not play defense and say, you know what, I'm going to wave the white flag, we'll take it easy, but... I'm not really going to try. How like how can I be mad? How can I get on the radio today? As this game is going on where we are where we are seeing no defense where both teams are over 115 points scored with four and a half minutes left in the third quarter, how can I truly be mad when at the same time I know in two months from now we're going to be wall-to-wall playoff coverage and we're going to be crucifying a player, crucifying a team if they can't get the job done or that player is hurt because of an injury suffered on a night like tonight. So I honestly, I think the whole conversation is just to me unfair towards the players. There's a lot of reasons to get upset and criticize today's NBA players. I think in some parts they are soft. They are definitely at some areas, um, you know, they have a cushy life. So it's, you kind of lose sense of reality. I think there's some real arguments for sure about the work ethic and the toughness of, of NBA players compared to previous generations and even NBA players compared to other athletes and other sports right now in present day. But the one thing I would not get on them for, the one thing I would not sit up here and yell and criticize players for is not trying hard in the NBA All-Star game. Because it doesn't matter. Like, let me, let me frame it to you this way. Let me ask you another question. What is the benefit from the player perspective of having a great all-star game? Like, if I ask you, what does a player get out of having a 35-point, 10-rebound, 6-assist, great on both ends of the floor, MVP of the all-star game, in what is a hotly contested game, what is the actual benefit of having a great game in the all-star game? Is it more respect nationally? I would say no because that comes from, that comes from the playoffs, right? Like a lot of the most respected players in the league, we hold them in high regard for the most part about how they play in the postseason. So if you want, if you're a player trying to get your name out there, trying to earn more respect, we're not going to be referencing your stats in an All Star game as the reasons why all of a sudden now, oh. This guy's the this guy's the real deal. He's legit. You see what he did in India a few weeks ago? No. It's what have you done a little bit in the regular season, and how can you carry that over and be even better in the playoffs? So respect is not coming from having a great All Star game. Your your Hall of Fame candidacy is not increasing. Name me one player um, that's gone into the Hall of Fame because of how they played in the, in the All Star game. Hasn't happened. Will never happen. So it's like. Well, where's the benefit? 
Where is the benefit of going all out in a game like this that doesn't matter, that's extra? I, I can't find you one. I think they're only downsides. And that's why I think the NBA All-Star game is fine. It is what it is. It is Sunday night programming. You can have it on the background. There's definitely a few social media clips that will go viral for some cool dunks or a half-court shot like we just saw from Dane before. But I think at this point, you can't actually expect or, frankly, even want the All-Star game to be competitive because all you're doing, I think, is setting up these players to be in a bad spot, to get hurt. And if they get hurt, you're setting them uh, setting them up for major criticism because they are trying in a game that no one cares about and doesn't matter. So we value playoff success and playoff performance more than anything else. So with that being the case, I don't understand the argument then for wanting a player to put themselves at jeopardy of either missing the playoffs completely, limping into the playoffs, and being and not being 100%, and hurting their team and taking away their team's chances of winning a championship. So I don't see the benefits right now of, of playing hard and having a competitive All-Star game. Every year we have this discussion. And every year I feel the same way. We don't need one. The NBA, first and foremost, their moneymaker is the two months in the playoffs. Players' legacy, first and foremost, is usually defined of what they do in May and June, not on a Sunday night in February. That's why for me, I have no problem with how the All-Star game is right now. And I don't think a competitive All-Star game is truly good for the players, good for the league, or even good for us as the fans. Because as soon as one injury happens, that player is getting crushed. That team's chances of winning a championship significantly go down, if not just are are eliminated completely. And the postseason product, the thing we care about the most, if you are missing a superstar or two because they get hurt in the All-Star game, the playoffs then suffer as well. I don't see right now the benefit of having a competitive, tough All-Star game because I think it only leads to negativity. 